My name is Michael Kindele. Today we're here on The Money with John Ritter. We're going to be talking about creating a lasting customer experience. And today I'm joined by... Jennifer Olise, the founder of Music Mish Runway. Nicola Oshalusi, I'm a photographer. And Joyce Abuchado, the founder of Oriki Group. Okay, thank you guys for joining us here today. Well, when we talk about customer experience, what exactly does that mean? Um, well, I feel customer service is very key to any business. Um, starting from the head of the business to the food chain. It's very, very important how you deal with people that are coming to buy things from you or, um, you know, in any form. It's very important because we sell tickets. So it's like we have to leave a long lasting impression with the event. We have to, it's, we call it an experience. From the moment they pick up their tickets to how they buy their tickets or whatever they're doing, it has to be very, very, memorial for them very very it, they just have to have a good experience so that they would come back and buy more and invest more in your business i'll tell you even worse things when people have a lot of bad experiences they tend to go on social media and literally just broadcast it to everybody That's they know very true so um i i think if you look at tools like twitter all you have to do is go and yeah. search for a brand name you see everything mm. so it's very important to understand how you manage people and how you manage your social media channels. Um, I think if you start on the premise that you expect nothing to ever go wrong, you're already behind. Expect that something will go wrong, and it's how you respond. I mean, Carla, what's been your experience? I mean, I, I, I mean I, I'm in the service delivery business, because I mean, I'm a photographer, and why mine is even really important when it comes to um, service delivery and, 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 and um, customer experience is, I do more of personal interaction mm. and most of my clients in the last few years as more of referral as much as I believe in social media as much as I believe in um, PR as much as I believe in marketing and advertising I think the bulk of my customers are, are, are customers who were referred by another customer Very true. so for me it's key it's always important the experience is the only thing that gets you the next job mm. you understand so I mean a customer feels bad about your service, that's it. I mean, he's not going to tell someone about you. He's, and if he's going to tell someone about you, the only thing that comes to their mind is, I had this experience. Yeah. So for me, it's key. I mean, from, from the way I respond to phone calls, to the way I, yes. I get back to this yeah. customer, to the way I follow up, even with the invoicing. Mm. I mean, I, I need to ask, have you, have you gotten this invoice? Do you have an issue with it? You understand? And, and, and for me, what, one of the things I, I, I do right now is... Um, more like um, trying to find out what the experience was like. That's no it. business, no money. Yeah. yeah, that's it. So, Joyce, what's been your experience with, with customer experience? I'd first like to say that gone are the times where customer service doesn't matter. Mm. You know, in this part of the world, there was a time when okay. people would say, oh, it doesn't matter, the customers will continue. You to, moved to Nigeria to, to sort of do customer service. I did, and that's my little story. When I first moved here, it was my first business hustle that I thought I would do mm. outside of my nine to five. And we started by doing market research, and we went to business owners who we thought could use some help. No one, mm. no one was interested at the time. They said, well, you know what? I don't see why I should pay to train my staff on customer service because customers keep coming back no matter what. We're mm. the best. We're this. That has changed. Let's look around, guys. How many... I am in the spa business. I have a spa and personal grooming brand. How many spas have popped up? So many. How many juice companies have popped up? How many so restaurants many. and lounges mm. yeah. and clubs? So many. So what is your value add? And that mm. has to be customer service. Mm -hmm. So for us at Ariki, we have no tolerance. I'm telling you from the security men and the gate men, we instill the value of stellar customer service. And mm. that comes in so many different mm. ways. You receive a thank you message after you come into our store mm. to buy a product. You receive a thank you email. When you're in the pro when you're in the store, when you're in the spot, what were you offered a drink? You know, if you asked a member of the staff who isn't in the department that you asked, how do they approach? You? How do they handle your? Yeah. Do they take you to the right person? Mm. Do they say, "Oh, I don't know, sorry," or do they come and say, "Let me help you, ma," or "Let me help you, sir"? It's very, very important. Yeah. And I think Colette's point on um, feedback is essential. Very. Like we have products, so we actually have to be true to ourselves. Did you feel our product work? Mm. Did, did the product for oily skin work for you? Did the, mm. did, in the spa, did mm. you have a good experience? Mm. What would you change? And we don't say yes or no questions. We also actually also ask for open-ended open -ended questions. questions. Yeah, those are very important. Because those people, people will actually say things that you might not even be thinking about. Mm. For me, 
I think customer experience goes with every detail. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, in, in, in our present world, first, what's, what's the experience like mm. for those who are online? Mm. What's the online experience? Yeah. I mean, um, when they go to your website, what do they see? Great mm -hmm. content. Mm -hmm. what, 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 yeah, I mean. When people experience your brand, what kind of emotions do they get? Mm -hmm. so for example, if you think about someone like uh, uh, in the retail space, a lot of people typically go to stores and they just love going to that store. Why? Because there's always great music. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Things like that yeah. make such a huge yeah. difference. Yeah. People like to listen to the music while they shop. The and ambience. So you think the mm. ambience. Yeah. Those are all things that are all part yeah. of the yeah. customer mm -hmm. experience. Yeah. Yeah. So um, thank you guys for joining us. Um, based on what um, Joycey said, it's very important to always be very particular about a lot of things. Mm. Um, feedback is very, very, very keen and obviously Always put your customers first. Um, the customers are very, very important. And always please train your staff as well. It doesn't go, it goes as far to, you know, training them on how to speak, how to dress, how to react to customers, to be, you know, at every point in time, representing the policies of the company. But um, thank you guys for joining us and we hope to see you next week.